Hey guys, it's Melissa and I'm going to be doing my April favorites. Alright, my first favorite eye product this month is my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Here's what the brush looks like. It's, it's a very small brush, but the reason I like this mascara is not the brush, but I love the formula. The formula on this mascara is very lengthening and it's very long lasting. It does. I got hooked on this product when I got the small version in a little gift set from QVC. So, and then I bought the full size. My next eye favorite is another mascara, but it is by Lancome. It is the Hypnosis Doll Lashes. And this came in a gift set around the holiday season. I love. I love the cone shaped wand. I, this this mascara probably is one of my favorite that I've tried so far because of the, the formula and the and the applicator. But this does also give the best dark look that I'm looking for. I do like really dark lashes. So this one works very good for me along with my Art Liner by Lancome. These two together give a party ready or go out ready eye look. It just pops your eyes and it just and it just makes your eyes look amazing. So these two products together work really well. And I've been loving them this month. And the only reason I haven't used them before is because I did have my Bad Gal Lash by Benefit that I was using, which is still a favorite, but this really just defines my lashes. My next favorite is the Benefit Browsing. And this, I have the color medium, and this is a brow sculpting kit. Um, I really do like this. The only thing is it, is it is a little bit pricey, but the convenience factor is here. You, It comes with a, a set of tweezers, which is really good if you're on the go. And believe it or not, these tweezers work pretty well. I've used these several times in an emergency. This product I think was like $30. The reason I like this better is it comes with a mirror. The NYX palette that I have that was like $5 does not come with a mirror. My second to last eye favor is my Big Beautiful Eyes palette by Benefit. And I've had this for I don't know how long, but I've really been loving this this month to create a smoky brown eye. And I'm going to show you why I love it. This comes with everything comes with everything you need to get a flawless smoky eye look. It comes with a concealer, it comes with the base, it comes with the liner, and a, a, a brown. And I do use this, I use this almost every single day, every single day this month to create my look. And it's really good because it just slides right into your purse. You, you don't have to worry about carrying three different eye products. You only have to worry about carrying one palette. You don't have to worry about carrying anything else. It's really, it's really great. If you're someone who doesn't wear mascara, you just put this in your purse and go. It's, and that, the other great thing is you pay $30 for this and you're getting three eye products and a concealer, which the concealer alone would be $30 itself. My last eye product that I, my favorite this month is my Urban Decay Naked Eyeshadow. And as you can see, it's just a nude or naked color. I use this every day underneath any eyeshadow. Even if I'm going to be doing a, a smoky eye, I use this. It just creates a flawless base. So this is an essential to have for any person starting off their makeup collection. It doesn't have to be the naked color. This is just one that I find at Sephora. I like Urban Decay eyeshadows because they're very pigmented. Moving on to lip products. Now this month I've really been loving lip balms. Lip balms, lip glosses. The Rose Bud Salve by Smiths. And I can't begin to tell you how amazing this smells. This smells just like roses but better than the ones you've ever smelt. And this product is used just as a lip balm, and I use it every day when I'm not wearing lipstick or lip gloss. It's just a smooth, flawless finish. My next lip favorite is the, the Tarte Natural Lip Stain in the color Amuse. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand. It is the most pretty, bright pink. And I love this formula because most lip stains are very drying. But this, along with, I put this on the bottom, 
and my lips don't dry half as quickly. I can put this on in the morning along with this and it can stay all day. So this is a great product. I know that, that Tarte just came out with a gorgeous coral color and I'm very excited to go try it. I have to go do a Sephora trip soon. My last lip favorite is also a Tarte gloss and it is in the color Peaceful. Tarte has these amazingly cute packages but it's just this perfect peach sheer color. It is very sheer. It doesn't give a lot of color but I like the formula. It is a Marajuka Divine Lip Gloss. These are brand new and I got this in a value kit with a few other products and this is probably the favorite product that I got. That is also where I got this from. I, so I love these two products but this is probably the favorite. It is very, it's just a sheer gloss and it is just perfect to have in your purse when you don't want to wear a lip color. Next my next favorite is a hair product and it's Big from Lush and I love Lush products but Big is the first hair product that I bought. It is a volumizing shampoo and it goes in your hair, it just feels like you're at the beach, it feels like you have sand in your hair but when you come out your hair feels, your hair actually is more volumized. I find that this product does do what it's supposed to do. My next favorite is a face towelette and it is the Yes to Blueberries. It is an age refresh. It is a face cleansing towelette and it has it has apple and lemon peel. I use this to take my makeup off and they are amazing. This came in my birch box. There's eight in here. I really like these products because I feel like they're not as harsh as some of the regular drug department store towelettes. They, I feel like they're a lot more gentle on my skin. I have very oily, acne sensitive skin. So I need the most natural products and I feel like this is a very natural makeup removing, makeup remover towelette. So I'll be purchasing the full size when I finish my Yes to Cucumbers. I just purchased two big packages of the Yes to Cucumbers so I do need to finish those first. My next favorite is a non-beauty favorite and it is it is the Downy Brink of Releaser. And I have been loving this this month because I recently rediscovered it. I bought it probably ages ago. But the great thing about this is, is it takes out the small wrinkles that you don't get with your big iron. Or if you've been sitting a lot and you have wrinkles in a skirt, it works amazingly. This is great for traveling, but I've been using it after work if I'm going out. After working a long day sitting in my chair, I tend to get wrinkles in the bottom of your skirt or on the back of a shirt. It, it works amazing. I recommend going out and purchasing it. I think this was $2.99, so it, it's a great thing to have in your car or in your purse because you could even carry this in your purse. My last non-beauty favorite and my last favorite this month is my gorgeous scarf from Target. This scarf is bold and bright and it is so big. This is going to be my go-to scarf for spring. I haven't worn it yet, the tags are still on it. But that's because in Connecticut it is still not spring. We are still have that April showers feel. I have not been able to start wearing my pinks and my corals. But this will be the first item I wear as it is amazing. My last April favorite is my favorite song. My favorite song this month has to be... My favorite song this month has to be from the Jason Mraz Love is a Four Letter Word CD, which just came out in the middle of April. And it is The World As I See It. It's just an amazing song. Go check it out. And also go check out my other vlog videos. And thanks for watching.